Thank you, Diego. So we've been talking about the election coming up here in Arizona, and it's a big one as we will be electing new candidates and officers to take the offices to govern Arizona. So class of 2022, it is so important that you understand and get to know who you will be voting for because they will govern us and their policies and decisions will directly impact our daily lives. So let's continue our coverage with the treasurer's position and who's running and what's important to them. For the Democratic Party, there is only one candidate so far. His name is Martin Quezada. He is an immigration lawyer by trade and he is currently on the Pendergast Elementary School District Governing Board as a member at large and is also an Arizona State Senator for District 29. His prior office held was the Arizona House of Representatives, which was also representing District 29. According to his website, he is running for Arizona State Treasurer to ensure Arizona's values are represented when managing and investing taxpayer dollars. For the Republican Party, first up is Kimberly Yee, who is the incumbent, meaning she is currently the Treasurer of Arizona. Uh, she has held prior offices in the Arizona House of Representatives representing District 10 and the Arizona State Senate representing District 20. Next, we have Jeff Wenninger, a business owner who is currently in the Arizona House of Representatives representing District 17 and has held a prior office in the Chandler City of Council at large. According to his website, he is committed to providing innovation and transparency to the office that manages the state finances and bringing conservative values to the office. We previously reported David Livingston as a potential candidate and have learned from his website he's decided to drop out of the treasurer's race instead in order to focus on a new position within the legislature. So keep checking in with us here at HYFN TV for all the latest information on the candidates running for office. And we will be back on Monday show with the highlighting the office of the Attorney General.